Once upon a time, there lived a handsome prince called Vince, who was not very brave, not really noble, not even charming. Well, let's just say he was... Cool. No need to ring. I'm not very brave. It's just my foible. I'm not really noble. So what have you got? Cause charming I'm not. But hey, I'm cool. I'm nobody's fool. Need no job. Need no money. I'm the prince. And it's funny. He was the apple of his mother's eye and a pain in his father's neck. <laughs> He's supposed to be a prince, not a boogie woogie piano boy. <laughs> Won't somebody stop him? Behind the scenes, there was just the man for that job. Smarmly, Vince's evil cousin. Go for it, Boondoggle. On the way, boss. And Smarmly's hench bear did the dirty work. I guess this is what you call destructive criticism. But it's okay. I'm a prince. You see, Uncle, if you want something done around here, you only have to ask. I'm your guy. Great. After I'm gone, my throne will go to either my son, the clown, or my nephew, the crook. But, sweetie pie, Vince is not a clown. Whee! <laughs> I've had it! But, honey, didn't you have fun when you were a prince? Sure, but I settled down. I got married. Vince? Vince? Ma married! Grandchildren! And my royal line will be secure. And besides, what's a fairy tale without a marriage? Let it be heard throughout the kingdom and in all the lands beyond that the time has come for Prince Vince to marry. <laughs> Cut it out. I'm serious. Just get out there and get some princesses. But in the rush, the king had forgotten one small detail. Vince must be so excited. What did he say when you told him? Told him? We can't even wake him. He never gets up till lunchtime. Vince? Married? With children? Then I'd really be out of line to the throne. Something will have to be done. Ooh, man, 12.30 already. Another day of pressure and stress. Decisions, decisions, like... What am I gonna order for breakfast? What am I gonna wear? It's a tough life. But I'm a lucky guy. You got a point, boss. That was just a warm-up. Yes, Vince was really feeling the heat. Vincent, it's time we had a father-son talk. Oh, yeah, Pops? Business or pleasure? Business. We're talking marriage here. But I thought you and Mom were so happy. Not us, Mr. Future King. You! Believe it or not, Vince was considered quite a catch. Just about every available princess who had coach fare was on her way. Hurry along, your highnesses, and please, don't forget to wear your numbers. Looks like you've got a good turnout here today, son. Oh, but what if I don't like any of them, Dad? What's not to like? Who knows? It may just be love at first sight. So all the princesses were assembled, except the youngest and fairest, who was late. Princess Cindy, you're late. Tell me about it. The coach got a flat, my best dress got left at the cleaners, and my hair is a total mess. But hey, I'm the youngest and fairest princess. I've still got a shot. Number 11, a Princess Gladys of Lower Pittsburgh. Her Princess Gladys is 19 and is studying industrial engineering. She relaxes by playing the cuba. And I just want to say... Well, girls, thanks for coming. It's been real. No, really. Catch you later. We'll be in touch. Surrender! Vincent! Uh, 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 
but your highness. Oof. Oh, wonderful. Will I ever get up there for that Prince Vince to look me over? Be cool. You're not going to miss anything. Yeah, you're right. The guy's probably a bozo anyway. I wouldn't say bozo. Uh, I'd um, better be going. Yeah, I, uh, right. Um, hey, uh, uh, good luck. What a break for me. Not one of the princesses caught Vince's eye. And boss, you're sure lucky he left before she got here. Oh, hubba, hubba, hubba. What a knockout. Prince Vince? Listen, I'm sorry I'm late, but you see... Prince Vince? <laughs> Him? That's Prince Vince down there in the garden. Boon doggle, you dizzy grizzly. That's Prince Vince? But I ran into that guy on the steps just now. He's not such a bozo. He's kind of cute. So how come I'm still in the shade? Lose the flowers, man. Get rid of the trees. I want a sun deck over here, a tennis court over there. We'll get right on it the moment the sun goes down. Your eyeless. Fair enough. Hey, and I'll okay the overtime. And so, happy at last, Vince settled down to the serious business of pursuing the perfect tan. Wand over here now. Merle is the court magician. Strictly minor lead. Hey, Highness Baby, pick a card, any card. Yo, Merle, let's see you do some real magic for a change. The rain, man. Stop the rain. What? Sorry, Vince. No can do. We're talking messing with Mother Nature. Yeah, nobody gets away with that. Except for a prince. Well, there is this spell. This old rhyme they say will do the trick. A highness baby. Yeah? Don't say I didn't warn you. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Give us blue skies. Rain, rain, go away. Get lost, you're in the way. Don't need no tan delay. So come on, rain, rain, go away. It's a pain, it's so stupid singing in the rain. Get the message, listen to me. I'm a prince, not a blooming tree. Which was exactly the wrong thing to say to Mother Nature. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a tree! But baby, what a tree! I feel that bark. Love those leaves. You're really branching out in new directions. I've turned into a tree, Earl. Well, I did warn you. Which was true, but nobody had warned the king and queen, or the princesses, for that matter. This is not the kind of family tree I had in mind. Oh, poor guy. But it can't last long. Knock on wood. But, Your Majesty, what is to be done? A tree can't rule this kingdom. So Smarmly will be the next in line to the throne. <laughs> hold it, hold it. I'm still running this kingdom. I make the decisions around here. And your decisions, sire? We'll, uh, sleep on it, yeah. Maybe things will look better in the morning. Right, Merle. 
Oh, uh, right, Your Majesty. Bomb on the case. Top priority. Front burner. Midnight oil. Best shot. Fat chance. But Smarmly was taking no chances. Where are we going, boss? I'm taking a short cut to the throne, Threadbear. Yeah. OK, you guys. Midnight snack's over. Move it. Everything in this garden's got to go. And remember, he wants the sun deck over here, the tennis court over there. You there, a gardener person. Where's Prince Vince? There was just this tree, and it's long gone now. Someone give me a straight answer. Where is Vince? No one told us Prince Vince had turned himself into a tree. A tree or not a tree, he's still my son and heir. He must be found, no matter what the cost. Hear ye, hear ye, when bank money, no purchase required. Find Prince Vince and return him to the castle. <coughs> he is ten feet tall, with healthy foliage, wooden complexion, and a sappy disposition. Hey! <laughs> Sounds like the guy's a tree. <laughs> Bingo! Before long, almost everyone in the kingdom was lined up outside the castle with every kind of tree you can imagine. Uh, next, too short. Uh, next, too seasonal, darling. Next, too tropical. <laughs> I'm next in line at last. I get the <laughs> prince's crown. The prince's penthouse. I even get to pick the prince's princess. And I pick you, number 13. Oh, just my luck. This was not good news for Cindy. She ran to Merle, who was busy keeping a low profile. You know, this Prince Vince thing hasn't been too good for my image. But we can't just forget about him. But taking on the forces of Mother Nature? Who needs it? I'm closing the book on this whole mess. Well, I'm not. After all, how many talking trees can there be? OK, stay cool. One day you're a prince, the next you're a tree. You go to sleep in a garden, you wake up in a forest. You got a woodpecker beating on your head, three squirrel families have just moved in, and that tingling in my trunk is probably woodworm. Man, I could use a drink. Of water, that is. For not a single drop of rain had fallen since the spell had been cast. No more excuses, Merle. You got us into this mess. You get us out of it. As always, Your Majesty, at your service. Except... Except! My book of spells is gone. Gone with Cindy. She was already deep into the forest in search of her tree prints. Yes. Hello? Anybody home? And when Cindy finally found him, Vince could hardly express his gratitude. So, what kept you? Excuse me. What happened to... Thank you, Princess Cindy. Thank you for schlepping halfway across the kingdom with this book of spells that weighs half a ton. Okay, okay. Thank you, Princess Cindy. You're welcome, Vince. But we don't have time to shoot the breeze. Smarmly's taken over and picked me for his bride. We're getting married Friday. Boy, you go away for a few days and everything turns to... You got turned into a tree because you made the rain go away. You came all this way to give me... A second chance. All we've got to do is cast the spell that brings the rain again. That should turn you back into a real prince. What have I got to lose? Rain, rain, bring us luck. Make it weather fit for a duck. Although you couldn't say Vince was himself again, at least now he could move around. He followed Princess Cindy back to the castle through the pouring rain. I've 
been in the magic business 25 years. I warned you, right? You don't mess with Mother Nature. But oh, no. At least I won't have to marry Smarmly. And Prince Vince is back again, next in line to the throne. His Majesty would never let a duck succeed him. But, Uncle, you can't let a duck succeed you. Don't tell me what I can't do, nephew. What I say is... Yes, Uncle? ...sleep on it. Maybe things will look better in the morning. But as before, things did not look better in the morning. No time to be wishy-washy. <laughs> it's not fair. Our city and the throne should be mine. And, and anyway, what use is Vince as a duck? Hi, Pops. Hey, cuz. What's shaking? I'll get back here, Smarty! <laughs> Let me take a ring! It's time for foul play! Man, this flood thing is getting serious. I should check on Cindy. I do kind of miss her. about anyone till I met you. Vince, it'll never work. Sure it will. I'm still me. I'll be cool somehow. I'll find a way. <laughs> Farewell, my love. I'll be quack, uh, uh, back. <laughs> By the end of the week, everyone from miles around was living on top of the castle. And still, the waters rose. You must save us! You're our last chance! So what are you gonna do about it, Merle? Do? Well, beats me, Your Majesty. My book of spells. Yes! Got washed away. Oh, oh, oh that figures. Look! Out there! Isn't that Vince? Standing on my book of spells! His beak is moving! He's reading! Out loud! This is my wish. Go away before we're all fish. Here we go again. Everybody, die! And would you believe it? The skies cleared. The rain stopped. The sun came out. The flood was gone. 
and so was Vince. Poor Vince, gone but not forgotten. Who can ever forget Vince? A very special prince who was, above all, cool. He stood tall, but he was down to earth. He stood small, but he wasn't chicken. Don't you just love a happy ending? You call this a happy ending? So now Smarmly had it all. The crown, the penthouse, and the princess. Don't I get a say in this? I want to talk to my lawyer. Oh, you'll learn to love me. Besides, I don't want to send back all those neat presents we got. Sure enough, wedding presents were piled everywhere. There were 17 coffee grinders, 59 napkin holders, three four-poster beds, and a goldfish bowl brought by a little old lady who no one had ever seen before. I sunk to the bottom. I really blew it. I should have known better. I never should have messed with Mother Nature. I should have cared more about everybody and everything. Anyone know any reason why this couple should not be joined in marriage? But now it's too late to change. Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Crazy Vince. Oh, what a guy. What Vince is trying to say is that he finally got it. He learned to care the hard way. You know, being Mother Nature isn't always easy. Sometimes I have to be cruel to be kind. I mean no harm. You must learn to leave things be. Trust me, what I do is always for the best. Hey, thanks for everything, Mother Nature. I won't forget. From this day forward, I pledge myself to care, to be responsible, to settle down. Oh, Vince, you're really something. One more time! Your lawfully wedded wife. What more can I say? They all live happily ever after. Rain, rain, it went away. Didn't come back day after day. Golly gee, I was a tree. It took love for me to see. Dumb cluck, he was a duck. Rain returned, he ran out of luck. But as a fish, I got my wish. Never again will I be selfish. Rain, rain falling from above.